last Friday, all the major reporting stations in Pennsylvania, except Erie, got a light to in spots moderate snowfall. A cruel irony given that spring officially arrived that day. Though the storm wasn't a blockbuster anywhere, there have been some very memorable snowstorms this late in the season in past years. In fact, here's the biggest snowstorm on record to occur this late in the season at six of the major reporting stations. That 1942 storm in State College is actually the biggest on record there. At each of the other stations, the biggest snowstorm after this date was in April and dumped a foot or more. Interestingly, all on different dates in different years. That 19-inch storm in late April 1983 in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area is evidence that winter can really hang on in northeastern Pennsylvania. Now to get a sense for the frequency of more modest late season snows, I'll now look back at the last 50 years at each place and simply count the number of days with at least two inches of snow. I think that's a reasonable threshold because it's enough to shovel and might be a little disruptive. I will then break down all those two inch plus days based on when they occurred, either in the first third of March, the middle third, the latter third, or the first and middle thirds of April. Probably easier to explain by example, so Here's State College, where in the last 50 years there have been 32 days between March 1st and March 10th with at least two inches of snow, and about the same number between March 11th and March 20th. So at least based on this measure, the first third and middle third of March are very similar in central Pennsylvania. But then the frequency drops by about half in the latter third of March, and then another big drop in the first third of April. And once you get past April 10th, you're pretty much in the clear. Here's the plot for Pittsburgh. The frequency for the first third of March is actually the same as in State College, but there's a big drop off in the middle third of March. And two inch plus snows in the latter third of March are only half as common as in State College. And again, once past April 10th, there's not much. But if we head 120 miles north to Erie, totally different ball game. There the frequency of two inch snows in March is the highest of any of these locations. Stays high even into late March and doesn't fall to near zero until the middle third of April. And if we stay up north and head to Scranton, we see even more of a tail to the distribution in April. The frequencies for March aren't nearly as high as they were in Erie, but there's still a bump in mid-April. And in fact, if I had the latter third of April on here, there would be four such days in the Wilkes-Barre Scranton area. Finally, if we head southeast of the mountains, no surprise, the numbers go down quite a bit, though Harrisburg still has a fair number of two-inch snow days in mid-March. But there's a dramatic drop-off in the latter third of March. And like Pittsburgh, nothing beyond the first third of April. Philadelphia shows a very similar pattern. The actual numbers are a bit less than Harrisburg. And there's still a very small chance, at least historically, of getting a two-inch snowfall during the first third of April. Is there any chance of an accumulating snow this weekend or early next week? Fred is back next, and he will take you to the first day of April in the extended forecast.